Yeah, appropriately, we did a visual history on Ermac and Reptile because they were comparatively going in completely different directions. Reptile was looking super dope. Ermac was not looking super dope. And to figure out where those characters have historically looked the best. And I think it would be probably a good idea if we kept this going in Mortal Kombat fashion, because again, Mortal Kombat's a game where these characters have seen a lot of different changes over the years. Scorpion's one of the best ones, and it, there's quite a few games even outside of the mainline MK games, like spinoffs. I don't, we're going to have to check Special Forces, maybe MK mythologies to see what characters look like. So I want to see what the hell Scorpion has gone through. And this guy has shown up in different games than Mortal Kombat, Injustice as well. So, uh, you know, let's do it. Your boy Scorpion doing Scorpion-like things, you know? Uh, about as simple as the palette swap ninja can be. It's simple and tasteful, but is it specifically great? Is it an absolute, like, iconic design? It is. But I think with perspective now, you know, it's okay. The biggest difference between Scorpion and Sub-Zero is literally their default poses. Sub-Zero does the hand thing, Scorpion does this thing, right? That is, the, that is the big difference between the two. So I think Scorpion is fine here, but we have the default, right? We now have a barometer. Our barometer is five out of 10. Default Scorpion Mortal Kombat 1 is a five out of 10. Uh, and this is where things get a bit better, right? In my opinion, I, I do like the fact that they're BMX masks do get some detail to them, like they breathe through the masks and stuff. They add some texture and detail to the costumes. This just feels like the natural evolution of where original costume is supposed to go, which is why I think the MK2 costumes are some of my favorites in terms of the classic MK ninjas. I think they look pretty dang good. And even in sprite form, are a bit better, right? They're just, they just have hockey pads and shit on their knees and stuff, but still, I think it is substantially better than what they had going on from MK1, and there is a significant upgrade. Is it the best? Uh, n no, I don't think so. I think I like Reptile more with how creepy he looks, but I think this is a seven out of 10. And yes, why is he wearing a quilt? No more questions. So let's look at Scorpion and uh, when Scorpion appeared in Mortal Kombat 3. So here's Scorpion in MK3. Right, goddamn, look how sick he looks. Jesus. What a, what a cool looking character. It was also a great idea to not put Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 3. That was a good idea. Causing them to panic fiercely. So Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 comes out soon after because MK3 is kind of a disaster. And then UMK3 Scorpion is a thing. And everybody's happy again. And then we get one of the coolest looking Mortal Kombat ninjas ever. But mind you, you know, this is just the same as all the other uh, palette swap MK ninjas at the time. And then they changed Sub-Zero to have like no mask. It was very, it was all super weird. UMK3 comes out soon after and we get much better versions of these costumes. And yeah, I, I do really like these costumes. I think they're great. I, I can't remember what I gave the other one for, for Reptile around this time frame, but Scorpion is super cool looking in this game. Unfortunately, he's kind of balls, right? We're doing sort of like a retrospective. I think I'm gonna also give this one a seven out of 10, but Scorpion is balls in UMK3. If you wanted Scorpion in UMK3, you needed to play Human Smoke. And Human Smoke was a secret character. He pretty much had Scorpion's spear, he had Scorpion's teleport, but he was just a way better Scorpion. Then we get the, the huge upgrade that is Mortal Kombat 4 Scorpion. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah, like I see where they're going. Right, I see what they're trying to do. They're, this is their first 3D fighting game or their first like Mortal Kombat 3D fighting game. So they are trying to essentially translate the character to something in Mortal Kombat 4. But it, it, it just looks kind of rough in this game. Um, I do like the mask, mind you. I do actually like the mask. I had a situation recently where I saw Mortal Kombat 4 um, for the first time in a while. And I was saying, dude, I could have swore Ermac was an MK4. And I figured out why I thought that way. I could have swore that was the case. Here's why I thought Ermac was an MK4. They straight give Scorpion like a red, red-ish costume in this game. And depending on the monitor, when you look at it, it's like, oh, I thought that was Ermac, dude. No, he's not in this game. This is just Scorpion alternate costume. 
gets a different like red orangish costume. I was like, oh, really? It's like got like tremor colors or something. Okay. I think that's where my confusion came from in the past. But we're talking about MK4 Scorpion and um, I don't know. I think I have to boil this back down to like, I, I really don't like his goofy Batman ears, right? I think that's one thing I don't like about this one. He's got, he's got these like Batman ears. I might, I might bring it down to like a five out of 10. I do want to see Scorpion MK4 combos though, because we need to we need to see that. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. How does this stuff actually look? So yeah, you get weapons in this game, right? Mind you, maximum damage. Oh, I do. That is kind of sick that they give him fire spit uh, in an actual move. Damn, dude. MK4 is wild. It's goofy looking, but it's wild. They have like all the air throws and stuff. This is actually kind of neat. You know what? This, I think this almost makes up for the fact that his gameplay looks way better, right? That his gameplay in this is honestly way better than it was in UMK3. Even though it looks jank, mind you, it looks jank. Uh, I think this bumps him up to a six in my opinion. I don't think it's amazing, but he's doing some pretty wild stuff. What the hell is going on? And now we get to some of the kind of crazy designs. Right, and now you start to see the busy Scorpion design. Scorpion's design gets busier and busier from this point forward in every single one. And I don't think it's specifically bad. It's a lot. He looks like gangster Scorpion, right? He kind of looks like, you know, I just, I'm just i just gonna bust a cap and dis ass and, you know, take these skulls and go on my merry way. I kind of like it. I think it's sort of dope. He's thugged out. I don't think it is bad, but it, there's there's obviously a lot going on in this design that normally the characters didn't have. They look like bulkier. They almost look like they got like World of Warcraft in in some way. So I'm gonna give this one a seven. You know, I think it's pretty decent. I think it's not bad. And you see what they did? They gave him like the texturing on his pants instead of all over the place up here. It still retains all the elements, but he clearly has like armor on now when he did not have armor on before. So let's move forward. Deception that much different. Yeah, so this design is a little bit different. It, it gets even busier and they, they throw even more armor on him to the point now where barely any skin is even showing in some way. And they're a bit more weapon focused now. Like, obviously, weirdly enough, I don't hate it. I think it's kind of sick. And this was just around the 3D era. He looks more like a samurai. Yeah, they're, they're trying to like samurai him up in some way. Instead of being a Mortal Kombat ninja, he's more of a Mortal Kombat like samurai. I like this one. It's a statue. I mean, it is a statue. I'm getting, you just get to see the details a bit more. We're talking about the design of it. You know what? I don't hate it. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I actually think it's one of the cooler looking scorpion designs they have. And if we're talking about bulky Scorpion, I'm down with it. You know what? We have to check out uh, MK Shaolin Monks. Kind of cool. Interesting. This is actually kind of interesting. So he isn't one way or the other. He is kind of going back to basics where they're toning down a bit of the armor, but just adding little accoutrements on, on top of stuff. The spikes, the like little needle spikes seem a little unnecessary. Um, but it's simplistic and again, the the mask is going back to something that's a bit more classic. Although, ah, it kind of sucks when you zoom in on it. You know what? It's not bad. I'm going to say this is like a seven. I think it's decent. Seven out of ten. I think they've done a pretty good job. And if we just click on this task of Shaolin monks, you will see the alternate. This kind of reminds me of an, the Ermac costume. I think I like this one a little bit more. Right? I think I like this one a little bit more. I might give this one an 8 out of 10. This version of Scorpion is sort of sick. While still not being like super armored, it is sort of the way it is, right? I don't think Armageddon is going to be much different though. If we're going to go comparatively look, this is Armageddon Scorpion. And it's not like Deadly Alliance, and it's not like... Is this his alt in, De in Deception as well? This, this is another one that's kind of going back to basics in some way. This isn't bad. This is this is another take on the MK3, MK4 version of Scorpion, right? This is like, okay, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Ignore his goofy legs. Uh, but this is, this is what the MK4 one should have been. This is arguably closer to, in my opinion, simple and effective. I think this is maybe a nine out of 10 for me. This version I think is simple, effective, and good. 
right? I think it's actually not bad. This might be my highest rated Scorpion so far, weirdly enough. And let's talk about this version of Scorpion really fast. Visual history. Why do I, why do I think Reptile looked better? Hmm, maybe lighting? That could be it. The mask is cool, right? The mask is, is dope. It was different than Reptile's mask. I can't remember if it was different than the other Scorpion. I mean, I'm sorry, different than Sub-Zero's mask. The, yeah, Sub-Zero is the other Scorpion, a good name. You know what? I feel like this, this falls right in line with the original Mortal Kombat. This is like MK1. Simple is a good thing, but I think it also lacks some visual elements that I like about Scorpion a bit later. I'm gonna give this a five. Oh, wow. What the hell is this? Oh, what in the hell is this, dude? This shit is... This shit is kind of weird. Wow, everybody's just a goddamn Power Ranger in this movie, aren't they? Is it kind of weird that I actually don't despise it? It's very funny to see such angular looking lines on the character. I don't know. I don't know if I like or dislike it, which is funny. You know what? I, I think it is... It's, it's, it's a bit stupider, but I think it maybe uh, is a bit better than the original MK costume. Like, I appreciate them trying something else, but... God, man. You know, I don't want to see that anymore. I don't like it. You know what? I don't like it. I'm giving this a 3 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 3. The more I look at it, the more I hate it. Now we're getting into the modern era of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat versus DC Scorpion. Man, oh man. It's weirdly not that bad. Can I get a high resolution image for God's sake? Oh, this is the era of we're gonna put scorpion-like things on this guy. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, so this is the beginning of like, okay, so we need to make scorpion look more like a scorpion. Where he has like a bone mask and scales and yeah. I don't think I hate that about this design of the character, um, but it definitely makes him more like undead and creepy looking, you know? They're trying to add detail to spots where there was not detail before. So yeah, adding scorpion scales and, you know, weird bug things to different parts of his armor is a good way of doing that. Uh, so I don't think it's bad. I think it's like an eight. Again, about like an eight out of 10. What's his gameplay like? Let's find out. MK versus DC is a special game. Hiya! Did you see that animation? Hiya! Damn, he's just shitting fire. Uh, I don't know if we should have looked at combos for MK versus DC. He's kind of Batman-like, right? You realize how close Scorpion is to Batman in many ways, outside of the shitting fire thing. Yeah, I don't think this is doing a lot for me. I still am going to give him an 8. You know, I'll still give him an 8 out of 10. I don't think the design is specifically bad. And then it was full commitment, right? This is the full commitment to this guy is a bone lord with his scaly face and weird shit all over the place, you know? This was 100%. We are going absolutely ham on all of this creepy weirdo shit. And we're just going to put bug shit all over this guy. You know, obviously is a tad different than what they got going on here. Because they th this feels relatively reserved in comparison to this crazy bullshit, you know? Mind you, he has a lot of different alternate costumes in this game. I mean, we've already seen the MK2 Scorpion. Well, we know what that one kind of looks like. Are these really all of his alts? They went back to MK versus DC costume. This looks pretty good. I'd argue this one still looks the best. This feels a bit too try hard. This feels a bit too much. And this one feels just right. To the point where I think this is like an eight. Uh, this one's like a six. And this one's a bit higher, maybe like a seven. I kind of like this one. This one feels like that PS2 era Scorpion, for sure. I am not a fan of this, no. No, I don't think so. I don't think this hits for me, at least personally. I'm, I'm sticking with a six. I might get a lot of flack for that. I'm sticking with a six on this one. I think I like this design even more. And then obviously the next game Scorpion was in, 
would directly take a lot of the assets and gameplay that was presented in this game, where Scorpion was now an Injustice character. So Jim Lee stepped in to make this Scorpion design, and it felt like his perspective was definitely this costume, right? Where they want to give him more Scorpion-like things on him through all the claws and spikes and shit. Here's another render as well. Um, and here is, here's the problem with this costume. Here's the problem. I kind of like it. <laughs> and here's, again, I said it would be a problem. The problem was is that I don't like all the scorpion bug shit going on in this one. I don't. But for some reason in this one, I'm okay with it. To me, it kind of makes, it, it makes more sense. It's busy, but it doesn't feel confusing. In this one, it's busy for almost for the sake of being busy. In this one, like some of the lines flow a bit better. And I can't, I can't help but enrage the entire community by saying that. I can't help, I can't help it. For some reason, this one makes more sense to me visually than what goes on with the MK9 design. I don't know. I don't even, I don't like the big crotch thing. His big crotch spike, I don't like it too much. It could be because I like the mask and the hood so much. That might be doing a lot to me. I think this shit's kind of stupid and I think the stupid stuff around his crotch is pretty stupid, but fuck, I think like his upper body area up here hits so much. It's just Shredder, maybe that's helping out. I can't even fucking explain what's, what, what is doing it for me so much in this shit. But weirdly, I like it. I, and I'm, you know what? I like it and I'm sorry. I like it, I'm sorry. I like it and I'm sorry. I like it, I'm sorry. Giving it a nine. It makes no sense, but I like it and I'm sorry. And then, uh, you know, after that, this is also relatively peak Scorpion design. I think Scorpion looks pretty fucking good in MKX. He is, damn, he is the man of belts. He is Beltman. Damn, look at this, oh, hold. You know what? I am changing my fucking mind. <laughs> this is an eight at least, right? It's an eight. Damn, this bitch went to the world of Final Fantasy and came back and he's like, look what I found. Look at all the shit I found over here. There's a lot of costumes though in this game. Uh, eight out of 10, not bad. Uh, MK9 costume, yeah, and I go back to maybe a six, maybe it looks like maybe a seven-ish now. I'm definitely sticking around that this, this crazy bitch, bitch made costume down here is a nine out of 10. I am very weird. He just looks like fucking Batman. Uh, old Hanzo costume, yeah, this is like also a six. I think this one kind of sucks. This is like a four. Uh, this one is kind of weird. Uh, maybe like a four or a three. And then, yeah, these these kind of don't look great in this game, fortunately. Crazy. Damn, Scorpion's cool as shit in this game, dude. Damn, these Hellfire cancels. There was a reset in there somewhere. I miss NJPs. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I miss NJPs, I really do. Yeah, this guy, this guy was on some fucking shit. And now we can actually talk about peak Scorpion design. I think this is the best Scorpion ever looked. I personally do. Best looking Scorpion by a long shot and is just the best looking Scorpion ever. So here we go, here's Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 11. Damn, look at this guy, perfect. Literally perfect, I can't even believe it, 11 out of 10. That's an 11 out of 10 Scorpion costume, it's perfect. It, uh, you know, is the perfect example of MK3, realized in modern day, just absolutely beautiful. Oh wait, oh, oh wait, this was the costume that didn't make it in, oh, this was the costume in the trailer, but not the, maybe I should turn that off, let's turn that one off. Peekift Scorpion. Fucking sick, brother. God damn. The perfect mixture of crazy armor, big heavy armor design, as well as still has like lightweight looking gear. Bad ass, dude. Yeah, I, I feel like I almost forget how good this version of Scorpion looks. Jesus.
So dope looking, right? Like, he's just perfect. It's just Scorpion living his best life. I think incorporating the little bits of red on top of the character is, is so smart, right? I think it's so smart. The red, the red has not been done before in any of his other designs. And I think it's easily one of the best parts of the new design. I got to give NRS credit. There were some pretty crazy designs and commitments to Scorpion looking a certain way and another way all over the place. But sweet Jesus, man, if you want to absolutely nail the way a Mortal Kombat Ninja looks, it looks functional too, yeah. I think this is 10 out of 10. 100% peak Scorpion. He's never looked any better. He looks so fucking cool in this game, you know? And that kind of goes with the majority of things in MK11, to be fair. Jesus Christ. MK11 is such a good looking game, bruh. Ah, man, I almost I almost feel like I think MK11 visually is the best looking Mortal Kombat there is. It's not my favorite MK gameplay wise, but you're never going to get me to talk shit about this. It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at this fucking dude. God damn, man. God damn. I actually think it looks better than MK1. I mean, be real. I think just overall aesthetically, I think it I think it does look better. I think this is peak visual Mortal Kombat right here. 11 out of 10. I'm going even higher. So let's go to MK1 Scorpion. And obviously more simplified. We have one more to add in here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. We have one more to add in here. Obviously more simplified compared to the previous one, but you notice how they're keeping the reds, you know? And that's good. I think the, the color complements in here are pretty decent. In fact, I'd argue that by toning the character down here, we still have something that is like nine out of 10 material. I like a lot of what's going on here. The scorpion tattoo is a nice touch and all the different elements alongside here I'm having like this sickle thing, right? It's, it is dope, but I'm missing this thing, right? I, I, the simplicity is nice again, but it's gonna be so hard to beat. God, dude, just look at the upper, upper quarter of this character design. It's peak MK Ninja shit. I can't help it, man. It's so dope. But we got one more. Uh, and it's Mortal Kombat movie Scorpion. And the latest Mortal Kombat movie. Let's get a couple of examples here to really look at this one because this one is leaning crazy hard on the samurai motif, right? Extra, extra, extra ham on giving him the samurai look. You know what? I'm liking it less the more I look at it. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Very bulky. And his his hood looks bad. His, his hood looks actually bad. I might give this a four. I see another design in here that is that keeps popping up, uh, but is from one of the animated movies. And it's this one. This design keeps popping up a whole bunch. It's kind of hard to say because it is so stylized, right? It's like extremely stylized, but it's okay. This is from MK Legends. It's okay. It definitely is using reference of MKX Scorpion, right? But I still think it's only okay. It's so stylized that it's almost rough, right? I'm going to say it's like between a six or a seven. I don't know, but still for comparative sake, I, I think what's been going on in Mortal Kombat 1 and MK11 is peak Scorpion. Just to summarize this entire conversation, this character's gone through a lot of iterations and they've done almost every single thing they possibly can to how a Mortal Kombat Ninja could look starting from this, you know, from the most basic thing till now. And I think in terms of overall visual appeal, there are some things to like in almost every single Scorpion design, but damn, dude. And I have some whack takes that I like, that I actually like the Injustice design, but holy shit, this shit is so good. Okay, Legacy the show.
Oh, this design. I hate it. Damn, do I not like it. Uh, yeah. Oof. Oof. I do like the idea to burninate his ass, though. Uh, but damn, is that mask awful.